Britain and Spain have set a deadline of next summer to settle their long dispute over Gibraltar. The Foreign Secretary Jack Straw met his Spanish counterpart, Josep Peak in Barcelona and said the talks to resolve the future of the colony would cover sovereignty. The people of Gibraltar say their views are being ignored, but Mr Straw promised there'd be a referendum before any changes to the status of Gibraltar. Our Europe correspondent Justin Webb reports from Barcelona. For nearly three centuries, Britain has owned the rock of Gibraltar, and for nearly three centuries, Spain has wanted it back. The British, though, made themselves at home, and now Gibraltar looks like a piece of Britain sitting in the Mediterranean. Its modern-day inhabitants want it to stay that way. But the Spanish and British governments do not. Jack Straw and his Spanish counterpart are in the mood to clear historical baggage away. Mr Straw is making it plain he wants progress, though he accepts the people of Gibraltar must have the final say. If they don't like the deal, they have a right to say no, and we will back them. Uh, we will also be saying, we think that your life is likely to be better if you do like the deal. But of course our obligations to the people of Gibraltar will continue, and continue very clearly. On the border between Gibraltar and Spain, you see the day-to-day -day effects of partition, the nuisance, the slowness of it all. The governments are offering to sweep much of this away if Gibraltar will compromise and let Spain have some degree of sovereignty. But Gibraltar's chief minister, Peter Caruana, believes the price is too high. He's a frequent visitor to Spain, but he's stayed away from the Barcelona talks because he hasn't been given the right of veto, though both governments asked him today to rethink. We've been British for 300 years, and Spanish government participation in the government of Gibraltar is as offensive to me as I suppose French government participation in the government of the United Kingdom is to your viewers. Not much sign of rethinking outside the talks with a busload of Gibraltarians camped in the Spanish city making their views known. But these people are being challenged to reconsider. This evening, the people of Gibraltar face a choice. They can keep to their old view that this entire talks process is a trap, or they can begin to get involved. Mr. Straw hopes he's done enough to persuade them. Justin Webb, BBC News, Barcelona.